Hello, this is Monica Semyonova and welcome to the Globe Newsroom in Varna. Climate change and food insecurity are two of the most urgent issues facing Africa. A new research led by University of Sussex, however, found a possible solution to both in the face of a 700-year-old fertilization technique from West Africa. It essentially converts dry nutrient-poor soil into a fertile land with a higher carbon content than any other soil type. This soil enrichment is not achieved by using expensive or groundbreaking fertilizers. It simply requires ash and char residue from cooking, as well as organic plant and animal waste to be added to the weathered land. This turns the soil black, hence its name, African dark earth. The study took place across locations in Ghana and Liberia, where records show that the fertilizing technique was popularized approximately seven centuries ago. According to the research, the African dark earths assessed in these countries store 200 to 300 percent more organic carbon than ever achieved through modern agricultural techniques and are thus able to support far more intensive agriculture. Furthermore, the scientists claim that the African dark earths are the only climate smart cells which are able to provide food for the ever growing world population while sequestering large amounts of carbon at the same time. The scientists also discovered the presence of similar cells in South America, which were created by indigenous Amazonian people about the 14th century. The surprising similar effect to Indigenous communities living thousands of miles apart had on infertile source proves that this ancient fertilizing method might be successfully implemented in other places across the world. This was all for today, but if you're curious to find out more, please visit eatglobe.com. Thank you for watching.